the hell he just offers me a drink. He has no idea if I can pay. Tell me more about these murders. What a chill bartender. A few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Flu, you say? Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Wait, it's a ray of light? How can I enter? I'm a, I'm a vampire. Here to what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. If only you could pass out at a bar and not get harassed. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. He looks like a man. Quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. Hmm, so he's a well-educated vampire. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes. no funny business, you hear me? Ooh. So I can't go up to his room and, uh... Um, you have no idea how good it felt, Cats. Like, I mean, you will here in a minute when you finish up your... I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. I was so glad to be done with my phalanx. Now, if I talk to her, does she have different dialogue options now that I've talked to the bartender? I don't know. Maybe. No. I'll leave. She's still just a bitch. Don't mind me, man. I'm just going to help myself to everything in your establishment. You know, you seem like a nice enough guy. What the hell kind of kitchen is this? He's got, like, tomatoes and cans. What a pathetic kitchen. If John Taffer was here, he'd be appalled by this establishment. No kitchen, dreary lighting, poor seating arrangements. This place is all the makings of a failing bar. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. And then how we put that cross away there, man? Hitting me with, a, like, biblical symbols. It's burning me in real life. How about I flash an altar boy at you and see how you like it there, Mr. Christian? Jesus. Tell me to come in and assault me. And who might you be? I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. 
so please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In <laughs> fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Mm. I mean, technically I am a victim. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. Aren't all murders violent, though? Shall we say someone you can't just say a handful of murders are non-violent because it's a murder. How different. A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. <laughs> and what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. <laughs> then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Mm. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. It was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I know I, I know what I'm going to do, but will I ask him questions or end him? I want answers. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Please, leave me alone. Blah, 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 blah. I'll bite you too. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. 
William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. She's a barmaid, but it seems like she's never handled like an over the top drunk. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. What the hell button is that on? Let's oh, tap. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. me about the visit from your old friend William. Yes, Will came by tonight. They use the voice like in Doom. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth. You never said unannounced. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. 
He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? You got anything else you want to say? I'll leave you. Just... Bishop, I think I found something out. There's a drunk guy wandering around. Okay. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. men. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Interesting. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. They're drained, I think, is the proper word. They're not dried of blood. How the hell are you dried of blood? Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. But see, it says blood spats, but the feet go this way. He walked this way. Is that unusual? Did they aim the feet the wrong way? Like, like what the hell? This way with blood dragging something. Over there. Too sure I was supposed to do a sneak attack there or not, or how? Sneak, walk, jog.
Okay, lock is Q. It's locked. There's a way to get up there behind him. More resistance, sir. Melee, ranged powers. So he's got resistance to ranged, but nothing else. He's got resistance, okay. Best be moving on. Go back home, idiots. He's a pussy. So I don't know if there's any purpose like breaking the barrels if it can like have items in it or whatnot or consumables or something. Just breaking shit at this point because I can.
this nest of them cleaned out. I said stay away, sir. Don't come closer, sir. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. This nest of them cleaned out. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. And that, that bed makes mm -hmm. you sleep. What? That bed makes you tired. Oh god, juicy rats. Come here. Oh god.